Welcome to our full stack web development tutorial on how to close bootstrap model in angular. In this video we will deep dive into models work in angular using bootstrap framework and we will cover various methods to close a model programmatically and via user interaction. Whether you are creating a dynamic form or displaying information to your users, this lesson will give you the skills to enhance the user experience with models. Before we begin make sure you have an angular project setup with bootstrap included so let's start by installing bootstrap if you have not already i am currently using angular 17 that is currently running in my browser as you can see so now open a new terminal and start typing the command npm install bootstrap press enter now in your angular.json file make sure to include the bootstrap css file so open the angular.json file and find the array styles <clears throat> and there are two sections where this array is mentioned one is test one and second one is the build so i will add it here so before your main global styles file just add double quote here and here add the path node modules slash bootstrap dist sys bootstrap min.css okay great now uh, i would suggest you to restart the server stop it once and start it again so that the changes could apply next we need an angular component that will work with our model so let's create a sample component named my model component okay so to generate that component i will simply run a command and generate c and my model press enter all right it has generated a component and by default this is standalone so it would be according to the latest version of angular 17 anyways so in your components html file let's create a model markup using bootstrap classes let's actually go to the bootstrap website to pick up the basic code put it in so go to the docs and find the components area we basically need to find the model that is below here okay so this is the model that we need to use so i'm going to copy it and paste it here now let's uh, show this dialog here somewhere i will add mat actually we need to add it here okay all right now that component is visible but model is not visible if you click on that then it should show the model but currently it is not working so by default first of all i need to add a class show further i need to add display block here okay you can see that model is visible now let me add some dummy text now we want to close it when user clicks on the close or cross button so here i will add a click event and we will call a function close and in the component file i will create that function close and we need to access the model element by using the view child and i will give it a name so this is basically a selector so this my model basically should match the id here so actually i will use this one that is example model now add static false and give it any name and the type should be element ref make sure to import it like this and make it optional as well now we will use the native element property in our model to interact directly with the dom element for that in the close function i will add this dot model and as any dot style actually native element as html element okay now it is giving me suggestions as well so here i will set display none okay and to remove the backdrop and scroll functionality we need to remove the model open class from the body but let me just uh, show you this first so right now there is a backdrop that's why i cannot click on this button so that's why we need it but let me just click on the close right now it is not working let's see what's wrong here let's double check if there is any error okay i can see three errors here that undefined cannot read properties of undefined reading style actually we should have create a template reference variable on that element for that let's add this 
okay now if you click on the close you will see there is no error and it has been closed and now you are able to click on the launch demo model again right now launch demo model again is not working you may add the missing libraries from the bootstrap to make it work but right now i'm just using angular to make it work so for that i will add a click event on this button open let's create this function as well here it will work in the same way that it will add a style display block and further we want to remove the class document dot body dot class list remove model open in uh, normally when you are using bootstrap when you open the dialog it adds this class to the body so for example let me show you this right now there is a class on the body look at this model open class was added so we can remove that as well and we should add it as well if we are opening it so make sure to add it back when you open the dialog so for that let's give it a try now you can see that open and close both are working right now the animations are now not working but if you want to make them work you have to properly complete the installation of the bootstrap for example go to the documentation and here you will find the ways to install it uh, we, you must have to add this javascript as well in the angular file so in the scripts add this part okay actually we have to st restart the server okay i think we don't need the jquery i will just remove it for now and let's see if that works okay now give it a try and it again all right you can see everything is working perfectly fine now as the default behavior of bootstrap is working it is opening so you may not need the open function at all because it will handle that by itself so also let me remove the display block here let's remove the show button show class here now click on that you will see that model is being shown on with the animation and it is being closed and let's make sure it is not being closed through the default behavior so i will just remove the dismiss attribute because normally if you don't add the custom behavior to close it it will be closed because of this attribute so let me show you okay so if i remove this one then it will never close it from that button okay now i will add my own custom implementation here and you can see that i was able to close it but it did not remove the backdrop so let's see why is that so in the body that class was removed but there is a model backdrop div that was showing it we just have to remove the show class okay for that let's select that okay now let's give it a quick try close it and you will see that everything is working perfectly fine but still there is a problem i am unable to click on this button so that's mean the backdrop is still in the middle so we have to see how to fix it so let's see that backdrop in the original website so this is a backdrop if i close it and what happens actually it adds the display none class style on it so we have to do that as well so let's do that and this time i will use the style actually let me add the type as html element and wrap it in round bracket so that we could access its suggestions then all right now let's give it a try okay close it and now everything is working fine but now the problem is that when you close it it adds the display none and when you click on that it hides everything and then it show it again so you have to click on the on that button two times to show it so if you are interacting and manipulating the custom implementation of the bootstrap then uh, i would suggest to you that if you are making any change in the actual implementation of bootstrap just for closing i would suggest you to do the same for the open as well so either keep it as it is use the original behavior of bootstrap or if you want to change it then use it both sides so now i will get rid of this so that it don't open by itself now you can see i'm clicking it is not being opened so i will create again open function and it will have all of the functionality like it will add the display block to show it to the 
model and it will add the model open class to the body and it will add the show class to the model backdrop but actually the backdrop would not be there at all so we would have to add it by ourselves so for that i will so you see that how hectic it is now because you are doing it by yourself so but it's fine so this is the backdrop div that you have to add by yourself so you can create document dot create element div and then you can add these classes to it so this time we don't need these two lines and here i will also add style display block i don't know if that will work really let's divide it in two lines so for that i will add let element is equal to this and give it a type as html element okay now it should work fine now we need to append it to the body by using document.body.append child now let's give it a try we did not call the open function yet so let's call it on click okay uh, we have a syntax error we should not add multiple classes in this way there should not be a space or you can use class name to add multiple classes with the help of spaces okay uh, we need to add the show class to our element like this all right now again it is working on the close we need to delete the dom element as well we are deleting that backdrop element from the dom let's give it try again everything is working perfectly fine it has not that kind of animation that came from the original bootstrap but it is working if you are using angular with bootstrap 5 you might want to consider using angular bootstrap libraries like ngx bootstrap or ng bootstrap which provide angular components for bootstrap elements and are tailored for angular applications i hope this tutorial was informative and you have gained deep insight into how to close bootstrap models in angular effectively so i have a pro tip that always consider the angular way of doing things to ensure the best performance and maintainability of your applications don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more top-notch full stack web development tutorials if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and happy coding